Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, I've got my Z2 out today and I just flashed on the official lollipop for it. Uh, I wanted to see how it was. Uh, and uh, I have to say, I'm going to keep this video a bit shorter because it's pretty much identical like to the Z3 and it's uh, lollipop. And uh, you know, props to Sony for keeping uh, like the older devices running a very nice similar experience to the newer ones uh, and uh, as you can see both of them have uh, like the bigger icons now uh, with the uh, also the kind of nexus like uh, buttons here on the uh, on the screen as well as a similar type of customizable uh, drop down from the top here so you can quickly swap and arrange things to your heart's content I really do like that feature I think they should definitely be like the standard for kind of like uh, all Android devices so you don't have to keep faffing around with like uh, third party ones uh, and uh, in terms of the speed and fluidity this is a very fast device anyway it's rocking a Snapdragon 801 same as a Z3 uh, in fact, I think the specs are literally identical to the Z3. Yeah, it costs like half the price now. Uh, so uh, the Lollipop has certainly helped with the speed. As you can see, going into stuff is uh, very nice and quick here. Uh, and uh, I've been testing like the multi-user support as well. That's like I've set up uh, Jojo again, uh, so we can see Jojo's profile here, completely separate and uh, very nice and easy to get into. It does actually allow you to choose whatever name you want for your other profile, which is quite cool. And it asks you that uh, whether you want to put them in easy mode if they're a bit uh, technologically illiterate. Uh, and uh, like the Z3 we don't have too many changes when it comes to the camera uh, it's still uh, you know excellent snapper this is uh, with the same kind of sensor as the Z3 uh, the ISO is not quite as uh, high though so I think the Z3 has the advantage of the uh, better low light pics but that's about it really uh, in terms of everything else it's pretty much identical, like 4K is there, uh, your time shift video, you see these lollipop kind of loading icons, but other than that, there isn't too much in the way of differences, uh, and uh, the gallery seems to load very nice and quick as well, a bit quicker than it was before, I think. Uh, so, uh, if we go uh, back into something else like the Walkman again very similar here uh, we have uh, all the excellent sound effects as well as the colour changes uh, such as like this blue one uh, which is very nice and then when you go back out of it, it goes to purple it really looks fantastic with this uh, Sony device uh, so uh, I think uh, there isn't too much else to really talk about really if you have seen a Z3 uh, kind of uh, lollipop, the official lollipop for the Z3, you're pretty much getting everything you get here. Uh, you, I think I've shown you the dialer, it's uh, very nice and uh, lollipop-ish. Uh, I think that this retains kind of like uh, some of the Sony uh, influence of before though uh, as well as the messaging app here very easy to write a new message there uh, the clock as well as you can see a lot of Sony influence there with Tokyo up the top so uh, really liking this uh, update for the Z2 uh, and you can get this phone now for like a steal 
uh, and uh, it's like under 300 now uh, which shows amazing value for money in fact I'd say if you're on a budget you know and uh, you had to choose between this phone and the Z3 I'd probably recommend you still get this because uh, it just gives you pretty much everything you need uh, I'd say that the Z3 feels more comfortable in the hand uh, it's quite sharp the Z2 uh, but the Z2 does have an advantage in my opinion like uh, the edges here look uh, very nice and uh, kind of premium with this silver outline whereas you don't get that on the Z3 uh, it looks a bit more like I the new iPhone 6 here but uh, we can do a quick little uh, and to, to see if we can see any improvement on the benchmark before we round the video off and uh, I will fast forward it as usual so uh, we've come to the end of the test and we can see here uh, the uh, the D6503 that's the Xperia Z2 model uh, scoring 43,088 which is above the Huawei Mate 7 uh, MI4 Galaxy S5 LG G3 but below the HTC One M8 OnePlus One and obviously the more uh, recent devices still not a bad score though for saying it's uh, about a year and a half old now or something uh, so uh, you know very nice uh, improvement there if I find the original N22 score on KitKat, I'll put it in the description box as well as how to get this on your device. It's very easy if you use the uh, flash tool. Uh, so I definitely recommend you do that. Hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough video of uh, Lollipop, the official uh, stock uh, firmware for the Z2. Uh, and if you did, hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Cheers.